Washington, D.C. It's been going on for about 30 years. And, uh, man, if uh, George Beanie was alive today, he'd be rolling in his grave. <laughs> uh, George Beanie, that arch conservative and anti red uh, union leader of the AFL CIO, he always swore that we went down to the conference, we'd go down to the back where he has his grave so that we don't piss on his grave. <laughs> uh, but this guy wrote this song and became the hit of this conference where all these musicians gather around. They were from 30 to 100 musicians singing union songs, labor songs for the entire weekend, sharing the, uh, their ideas around. Uh, brought this song with me, uh, sang it on, on picket lines. It's always a favorite, so bear with me. There's a part in here for you. I work at a place and make 40 a day. I can't keep my kids out such a miserable pain. I went to the boss and I said I need more. He answered so sweetly as he showed me in the door. He said, fuck off and die. Fuck off and die. That's what my boss said, just fuck off and die. Fuck off and die, fuck off and die. That's what the boss said, just fuck off and die. I want you to sing that chorus with you. Okay? Come on, it's just a word. He said, fuck off and die, fuck off and die. That's what the boss said, just fuck off and die. Fuck off and die, fuck off and die. That's what my boss said, just fuck off and die. I worked in a place just down the block, and the owner came in and he changed all the locks. I went to the boss, asked him for pay. He said, if you're in a union, you could just go away. He said, fuck off and die, fuck off and die. That's what the boss said, just fuck off and die, fuck off and die, fuck off and die. That's what the boss said, just fuck off and die. I work in a place mixing chemical swill. The fumes they are deadly, the smell it can't kill. I went to the boss, I said, clean up the air. He answered so sweetly from his leather chair. He said, fuck off and die, fuck off and die. That's what the boss said, just fuck off and die, fuck off and die, fuck off and die. That's what the boss said, just fuck off and die. Now, fellow workers, here's the moral of this story. When we've shared up the wealth that our labor has made with plow and computer, a hammer and spade, and the bosses come crying, those former rich fools, and they say they can't live without mansions and pools. We'll say, fuck off and die, fuck off and die. We'll tell all those fuckers to fuck off and die, fuck off and die, fuck off and die. We'll tell all those fuckers to fuck off and die, fuck off and die, fuck off and die. We'll tell all those fuckers to fuck off and die.